Hi friends, this is Ashish from developerhut.net and welcome to the next topic of Java 8 feature series which is Lambda Expression. So, so let's see what is a Lambda Expression. So, Lambda Expression is a short block of code which takes some in arguments or parameters and returns some values. These expressions are similar to the methods but they do not have any method name and they can be implemented in the body of a method itself so this is how the syntax of a lambda expression so the syntax is threefold so the first part of lambda expression is an arguments or expression which you can provide it here next is the arrow operator which is added in a java and third is an code block or an expression where you can provide all your or business logic so as you see here this is just a short block of code right which is similar to the method and which will take some in parameter and provide some return values if there are any return values to this methods okay so let's see an actual example so let's say if you have an email uh, list email list right which will contain some emails in the array list right and let's say if I want to do some perform some operation let's say I wanted to perform the for each right so as we saw earlier in our earlier video sessions that the list contains a for each method which is from an iterable interface and it takes an argument of type consumer right so we will write one consumer anonymous class implementation and as our type element type will be string so uh, we need to add a string and let's override our method which is an accept method right and inside the accept method we will write our business logic right so let's say sys out right and here uh, instead of the what I will do I will say email because all my array list contain the emails right so it will be better to read so I will just print email over here so I will say <coughs> I will say without lambda so we are not using a lambda as of now so I will say without lambda expression right so this will be without lambda expression so it says just a simple uh, consumer interface where we are trying to you know for each the all element right we are printing all with all the elements using the for each method right now let's try to convert this into lambda expression so the, the definition that we saw okay let me just copy this uh, I will just rename it I will say v1 right and I don't need this now so we'll just remove this right so we don't require any consumer implementation so as we saw earlier right so we saw the syntax of lambda expression the first part of lambda expression is an arguments right so method arguments or method parameters right the next part is an arrow operator right and third part is the code block or an expressions right where you will write it all the your business logic so we will be trying to do the same okay so if you see here the accept method we have accept method in a consumer interface which will take a string parameter right so we need to write add it in the parenthesis right so curly brackets so we have an email then next is an arrow operator and third is the your code block right so I will just copy this and I will say with lambda okay and that's it so this is the lambda expression and if I try to run this right it will run right so here let's understand this uh, in more detail so here we in a first uh, version we saw that we we have created an anonymous class of a consumer right which where we overrided our accept method which contain the some business logic for example print out the email right and then in the next version with a lambda expression we 
use the lambda expression inside a for each method right now here if you see this carefully so access accept method has an one argument one single argument which is of type string right so while writing it to lambda so lambda will convert this accept method an argument to this so here if you notice we don't require the type specifically to define right so we don't need to define the type for the email which in this older case we are defining the type now the next thing is the body statement of a method the actual definition of the method right which is mapped after your arrow operator okay so lambda expression convert this part to the method body now the question is how lambda expression knows that which method to implement right so the answer to this question is and functional interface so as you know functional interface have one and only one abstract method right and here for each requires and consumer interface implementation right so consumer is a functional interface so lambda knows that it needs to implement the consumer class right then next is the accept method right so once you write the this block of statement right which is an argument so he knows that accept method will take only one parameter so we have defined one parameter and next is the simple body statement so while exit and anyway if you see the consumer class uh, you know the consumer class you know, or consumer interface there is a for each right for each is a default static method which will call internally and accept method right so this is how basically uh, lambda expression works now apart from this there are uh, one or more few things that we can use so in our earlier session we saw that we can extract this complete consumer interface into you know your uh, variable right so if you just extract this for example an action and if you pass this then it will still work in our lambda case you can also do the same so you can extract a complete lambda expression into a local variable right so and if you run it will still works so if you see this will provides a lot of flexibility in terms of writing a code this will provide a clean code approach right so if you have a thousand line of codes you can extract your complete functionality into local variable and pass it whenever it is required so this is basically called as passed by functionality right because actually if you see this is a method this is a method implementation right so method implementation can be assigned to particular variable and you can pass this variable later to wherever it is required like a for each method so uh, I hope you guys are familiar with the lambda expression now so lambda expression and the functional interface goes hand in hand because lambda expression mostly dependent on completely dependent on the functional interfaces there, so there are a lot of uh, functional interfaces which are added in Java 8 and I will cover those uh, all those methods and uh, interfaces later uh, in a, I will dedicate a separate uh, video session on that and I will cover the lambda expression and its usage and the other interfaces as well so if you have any specific questions about the lambda expression you can write your questions in the comment section below and I will try to get you as soon as possible so before uh, ending this session uh, I would like to cover a few YouTube functionalities which uh, will help you to enhance your learning experience so the first important feature of YouTube is uh, subscribe to particular channel okay so this subscribe once you click on a subscribe button you will be subscribed to that particular channel of course and there is an interesting feature which is provided by the YouTube this feature is very very handy 
which is a bell icon which will provide you provide you all the notification related to this particular channel so as i'm updating or regularly adding the new videos so once you click on a bell button icon and say all or personalized i recommend to all of you to click on all so what happened whenever i add any new videos you will get a notification so instead of adding all those you know a video links on other platforms and uh, it will take a lot of time to reach my video session my learning experience with you so instead of that i uh, request all of you to put press a bell button icon so that you will get directly notified from your youtube itself the next important thing is your comments okay so you can add your comments in the in the video section so that if you have any question related to any of my videos you can directly reach me out via comment section so if the next feature that YouTube provide is an playback option so I got a lot of uh, comments from the people that your video is little bit of you know uh, time consuming it takes a lot of time so there is one very good feature provided by the YouTube is the playback option so if you go to the setting section you can update your playback speed which is all the time it's a normal so you can update it to twice x right so two times it will play the your video two times faster than it takes so for example if uh, the current video is of around a uh, 14 minutes and if you run it as a you know with a playback speed of 2x then this video will end up in only seven minutes okay and don't worry about the uh, video quality because uh, I am recording the video in a such a way that you will understand all the contents of the video even if you run it at twice x speed uh, so I so I hope uh, you guys enjoyed the lambda expression so if you have any questions you can anyway let me know in a video comment section and thank you very much for watching this video uh, please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much